All right, this is just, well, I would say quick, but it's probably not going to end up that quick. A little series of graphs about quadratics. Chapter three in Pre-Calc 20 is all about quadratics. So first of all, what in the world's a quadratic? The quadratics we're going to look at are all based on that. They're based on a function where y equals some mass on the other side polynomial that involves an x squared. And what that does is it creates a shape on a graph called a parabola. A parabola can either open up or it might open down. Okay, but the basic shape's going to be the same. And now let me tidy that up a tiny bit. I'm going to change colors. When we talk about a parabola, it has a vertex, which when the graph opens up, that is the minimum. When it opens down, that would be the maximum. Parabolas are always symmetrical, meaning one side mirrors the other, which gives us the ability to split it in half. And that vertical line is called an axis of symmetry. like that. Now, that's a really quick overview. When we're working with quadratics, ideally, we like it when the equations come to us in this format. In vertex, sometimes just called vertex, vertex form. I always called it vertex graphing form. Doesn't really matter. The point is we can grab the vertex out of it and use it to really quickly sketch our graph. So when we have it in this form, our vertex is always going to be PQ. Now notice it's written as X minus P in here, but P comes out as positive. Anytime you pull that P value out of the brackets, make sure you change the sign on there. Now, interestingly enough, if we think about all this other stuff that I wrote over here, so the minimum value, which is the highest or lowest point, when we talk up and down on a graph, that's our Y value. That's the second value of the vertex. Our minimum or our maximum is always our Q. The P value is the X value, the left and right of it. And this axis of symmetry, the line that splits our graph in half, if you want to write the equation of that, it's always just X equals P. And the vertex, of course, is the point PQ. Now, OK, so if that's all you need to know about quadratics, why is there a whole chapter? Because unfortunately, lots of equations are going to come to us in forms other than this one. And that's why we need more stuff.